Yes, I greetings, all praise King King, Silasi, Ja, Rasafari. Situation with the Antichrist. Well, the Antichrist is going to say that he is the Christ. Been known this. So, where is this Antichrist? Well, the Antichrist exists in spiritual form within all the Antichrist followers. One of which is this judge that uh, works for the United States of the pedophiles. And he claims, say, that he, a Christ man. You notice these folks that claim to follow the Christ yet, they never seem to quote from the Christ. When I see that there are bills that punish those in positions of power from lying or for lying, then their testimony will be much more believable. Until then, it's hard to believe anything they say. Where does this all begin? It begins at the Pilgrims. The Pilgrims, also known as the Separatists, were a threat to the nation of England. They had gathered a substantial following, and this was after um, many of them had become martyrs, being burned, and other forms of murder having taken place previous to the voyage to the new land. This voyage, voyage having occurred first into Holland, and later to what we people refer to as the United States of America. The pilgrims would have never given allegiance to this United States. They had their own form of government. This is why they left England to escape persecution for administering their affairs in accordance with the will of the Creator. I weigh! Shortly thereafter, England dispatched their band of operatives to engage people in witchcraft, that is, practicing the Christian faith not founded upon Christian principles. This was done through the establishment of the colony known as Jamestown in Virginia, which was to become a hub for the southern colonies involved in, in, in the slave economy, headed by a man known as John Smith. These Puritans would include in their sermon a portrayal of African people 
as a product of the devil. Um, this philosophy has carried on into today's modern age, most often seen in these southern regions. What are we looking at? We're looking at the conditions of humans. And those that are living in harsh conditions deserve better. That is the hope of the Christ. That the poor is less. The hope of the Christ is not to curse those that live well, yet to bring a salvation to them that heals so that they know they no longer need to worship these man-made idols and that they can achieve the same level of satisfaction, even exceeding that of by knowing Christ manifesting this time as His Majesty.